Thousands of soon to be homeless greyhound dogs could be searching for their second chance at life right here in Chattanooga. What's known as the capital of dog racing in the country just banned the practice. News Channel 9's Mariah Rock tells us how local rescues are beginning to prep for these retired racers. Mariah. Josh and Latricia, rescue groups say this new ban is a victory for dog lovers, but one that could create a crisis. Now they begin to search for homes willing to take these dogs in as they search for redemption off the track. Once stealing the spotlight on the racetrack, these 45 mile an hour canines have seen faster days. Good boy. They are now stealing the hearts of foster moms like Lori Lowry. 16 retired Greyhound racers have called her home their home temporarily. It's super fun. I've, I've never had a dog like a Greyhound. And a home is something over a thousand racers will need by 2020 as voters in Florida chose to ban Greyhound racing, closing 11 of the 17 tracks left in the United States. Um, I would say probably a third of our dogs come from Florida. Noma Gunn works with Greyhound Retirement Foundation of Chattanooga and says her team is already preparing for the racers' arrival seeking out foster and forever families. Uh, we're expecting to have quite a few. They'll phase it out through the end of uh, 2020, and uh, some of the owners and trainers will probably start placing dogs immediately, while others will run until the end of December of 2020. Lori says fostering greyhounds has its quirks. Uh, they've never been in a home before. They've never been on hardwood or uh, heard a dryer buzzer or uh, just these little things that you don't think a phone going off. But after a few weeks, Lori says these gentle giants feel right at home. Usually within about a week and a half to two weeks, they're completely settled. Uh, they're going straight to their bed and uh, finding furniture even. But a life on the track can leave its scars. Dr. Sarah Gillum has treated many of the Greyhound rescues now living in our area. Well, I mean, another thing is, is that we do tend to see um, certain intestinal parasites in the especially in these retired racers we see a lot of hookworm infestations and particularly from the florida racers problems that can be treated in life after racing as lori and other local families open their doors for these special dogs i'm excited to help yeah any way that we can that's that's what we're here for and that's what we do even if you can't help by bringing a dog into your home there are other ways that you can help you can head to our news channel 9 story online josh Mariah, thank you. Now that Florida has made dog racing illegal, only nine states in the nation allow it. Four of those states have active dog tracks. Those states are Alabama, Arkansas, Iowa, Texas, and West Virginia. States that legalize dog racing but don't have any active tracks are Connecticut, Kansas, Oregon, and Wisconsin.